Uh, right, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wahab, Akar, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. This is basically like a message to the wicked, right? The left hand side, it's already lost, right? Yahweh Yahweh has already won, all right? Let's go to Proverbs 11. Actually, let's go to verse 12. And start at verse 12. Whoso loveth, right? Key thing, whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, right? And as potential members of the elect, we're supposed to love instruction because instruction it shows you how to do something and to, to, to do it the right the right way because without that instruction that means we'd be doing things our own way right but he that hateth reproof is brutish and that's what happens yes it makes you brutish right it makes you brutish it makes you base right a good man obtain the favour of the Lord Jehovah Shai, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man with wicked imaginations would be condemned. Right? A man shall not be established by wickedness. Ain't no way a kingdom's going to be as and you see that with every single kingdom. In Daniels 2 and 44, it talks about all those different kingdoms. And they fell. So no, no kingdom's going to be established by wickedness. Right? No kingdom is going to be established by wickedness, right? It's going to fall. All right. But the root of righteous, of the righteous, shall not be moved. The root of the righteous will not be moved because it's rooted in Yahweh Shai. Okay. Jump to verse five. The thoughts of the righteous are right. Their thoughts are going to be what somewhat pure. Right? Even though they may mess up, go off here and there. But the counsels of the wicked, excuse me, are deceit. Right? So you have counsel, you have right, righteous counsel and you have wicked counsel, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The counsels of Esau are deceit. Right? Because the Esau's counsel is, how can he further... What's the word? What's the word? How can he further enslave the masses? How can he further deceive the masses? Alright. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Hold on just a minute. Let's go and do a lot of jumping around. Okay. And also, let's go to. Because I ain't got nothing written down. Okay. Verse 18, the wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. So it says the, the wicked worketh a deceitful work. So what would that deceitful work be? The RFID chip, right? Chemtrails, GMOs, right? All these different things. That's a deceitful work. Abortion same-sex marriage these are deceitful works right that are now what upheld within this society okay and people they're with most the majority of people they're with this and if you speak against it oh no you can't say that but to him that so if righteous shall be a show of rewards going back to galatians baba kashar See if I can find it. See if we can find it. Bear me just a minute. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. There's a lot of men like to quote the scripture. Be not deceived. Whatever a man so Yeah, you're right. Right? Be not deceived. The Mosai is not mocked. So you can't mock your heart by Shem, your heart Let me check the time. Right? 
Yahabashai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, whatever you put out there, right? That's when you want to make sure you're sowing the right thing. Right? Whatsoever a man soweth, right? He shall also reap. So according to what you're sowing, that's what you're going to gather. So if you've put out wickedness into the atmosphere, that's what you're going to get back. But if you put out righteousness into the atmosphere, righteousness is going to return unto you. Right? And that's the laws of the universe. So we want to put out good, and good will come back to you. Right? And it says, For he that serves to his flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. Right? So within this truth, what do we want to be serving? The spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right? Because Esau is all about the flesh, serving the flesh, serving the flesh. Okay? But he that served to the spirit shall reap of a life everlasting. So the elect were going to be sowing to the spirit. They were going to be what? Sowing righteousness. The wicked were going to be sowing according to the flesh. According to this world. Okay. Let's also grab Psalms. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Alright. Excuse me, just a minute. We want to make sure we're on the right side of Yahabashai. Psalms 28, alright, unto thee would I cry, O Lord, how shall my rock be not silent to me, right, prayer is important, continue to pray to Yahweh Shai, lest thou, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit, hear the voice of my supplications, when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle, because that's how we pray also, we also lift up our hands, draw me not away with the wicked, right, which are what the many, and with the workers of iniquity, these masons, these warlocks, these witches, right? Which speak peace to their neighbours, but mischief is in their hearts. So they speak peace, but really they're looking how they can overthrow you, right? How they can try to take your soul, right? These people, they're, they're like leeches, spiritual leeches, right? And it says... These, these fucking, excuse my language, these goons and goblins, man. And this is this is it. This place, it's getting more wicked, so we got to cleave unto Yahweh Shai even more. As for, if you can see people are getting more wicked and evil, you got to cleave unto righteousness. Alright? Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbours, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness of their in devours. Give them after the work of their hands. Render them the desert because they regard not the works of the Lord Yahweh Shai, which we do regard his works. Nor the operation of his hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. So once these individuals are destroyed, they're not going to be built up. Once Esau's kingdom is destroyed, they ain't going to be built up. And yeah, this is what we want, right? So destruction to the wicked and salvation to the elect. Until the next time, Shalawah.